Hey guys, welcome back to my Buffalo Bills franchise. This is week two, and we're going against my last year uh, Madden Mobile franchise in the Ryan Tannehill led Titans. And now, if I would have done the Titans this year, maybe I start Malik Willis. But they're staying with Tannehill because it is only a one year season. I know I'm calling it a franchise, but it is sadly just a season. I would love for them to change that. Because if Retro Bowl can make a compelling franchise, I think EA definitely should be able to. But we start out with the ball this time. Let's see what Isaiah McKinney can do. Ooh, okay. Not a bad return. Oh, I was thinking about changing playbook, but we'll stick with option for this game. Stefan Diggs with the catch, okay. Now this toss worked great last week. Let's see what it does this week. Even better, I was going to say. But still 9 yards. I mean, can't be upset with a 9 yard gain. Maybe Singletary on a real route. Oh, that's not who I was trying to throw it to. <laughs> Almost worked out, but could have been uh, very bad. Maybe Gilliam here. He doesn't seem too open. Throw the ball away. Fourth and one. Running the ball has seemed to do well. So we call a trap. Gain like nine or so yards again. We got an unstoppable ground game. And Josh Allen's getting in on the action with a broken tackle too. Let's see if Diggs can do anything. And he does touchdown. Stefan Diggs. So I noticed on the ultimate team, you can kind of lead the receiver or left, right, up, or down. Can't seem to do that on this, though, which is kind of annoying. Cause I really like that because you can, like, pass it down or angle it outside of the corner on the inside. Okay, but, oh, Tannehill gets sacked. That's a great start. So maybe, maybe this game can go over smoothly. Oh, I'm on a D lineman. Who do they have? They traded away Corey Davis. So they have Robert Woods. And that's about it. But of course they have Derrick Henry, who we have to be afraid of. But they throw the ball away on third down, so... Maybe I should have done hard because this seems pretty easy, but you never know what could happen in the future. So yeah, if you guys want to see a hard franchise or a season, let me know because I'll definitely seem open to that because this seems a little too easy at the moment. I mean, as I get sacked, but still. I don't want to just be winning every game. I mean, Josh Allen just goes for, oh, can I do the math? I'm going to call it 59 yards, 49 yards. I'm going with 59 as my final answer. Oh my goodness, but it's an unstoppable ground game. Maybe, yeah, maybe hard would be more of a challenge. But I didn't want to just, you know, it wouldn't be fun if I just won five games, so. I was hoping this would be a happy medium, but you never know in the future uh, against other opponents. But we'll see. Maybe we can win the Super Bowl this year, because. Did not get that Super Bowl last year. And still, it was, a, it was a close game last week. 
if you haven't seen last week, you should watch it. Got, it was a, a nail biter. The score wasn't necessarily the closest, but it came down to almost the end. Yes, I'm starting 11, so it's three yard pass. Good job, Tannehill. <gasps> Blocked punt! He did it! Oh my goodness, I did not think I was going to block the punt. That was a thing on like OG Madden Mobile, like Madden Mobile 15, 16, and 17. But I never was able to do it last year. For that, whew, blocked punt touchdown. I don't see that every day. But now we're up 19 nothing. So this one seems to be, barring anything crazy, this one should be a win. But Derrick Henry, you can never count him out. Oh wow, Austin Hooper just dropped it. Do I go for another block punt? Oh, we catch the punt. See if we can get anything. Nope, we're just running backwards. <laughs> Eight seconds left. I don't think I'm going to be able to do anything before half. You never know. A 95-yard run. Um... Wow, maybe. I hate. Maybe normal is just too easy. I didn't have this easy of a time last game, though. But wow. A blocked punt and a 95 yard touchdown? That's making it tough to what I want the thumbnail to be. But I think I gotta go with the blocked punt. I think. That pitch play is just busted. Because I've gained at least 9 yards like every time I've played it or I've caught it. Okay, you shouldn't call play action. Let's see if we can uh, stop him here on third down. Wow, good catch by... Austin Hooper that time. I fished to the safety hoping to uh, get an animation to get to the ball. But it didn't get one as a bad throw by Tannehill there. Who this Taylor Johnson? Ooh, another bad throw, but they might be in field goal range, so the shutout might be over. Oh, the Zig beat me. Okay, we fish onto the safety again that time. Oh, you don't punt. No, that's so sad. It's a 52 yard field go. And you punt it 27 yards. Yikes. See this logo, the slant and go to Stefan Diggs, how it works. If if not. What? I mean wow. I know I'm winning, but wow. <laughs> That's a crazy pick six. We've had a pick six and a black punt six in this game. But wow, I didn't Oh, you gotta hold that block for like half a second. Not a good pass by Josh Allen. So let's mm, just hand it off to Gabriel Davis. Who gets back to the line of scrimmage and maybe 
gained one yard. Oh, I don't think I should call the, the struggle again. Stephon Diggs cannot get any separation. So that's his takeoff with Josh Allen. Yeah, I think next game I might change playbooks. Just to see if there's better passing options. But yeah, I am liking this playbook's not bad, it's just I just wanna see if there's what else is out there, you know. Cause I don't even use the options all that much. They are good. As we get six or seven there. As we enter the fourth quarter. Dr. Knox was, haven't been seeing him make many plays this series so far. Oh, broken taco. Oh, just need one more to let it loose. Maybe a Diggs touchdown here. Two touchdowns for Diggs. Nope, Dawson Knox, who I just talked about, gets the job done. I don't know why I'm refusing to kick extra points this game. Oh, and Singletary fights his way. Ooh, 35. See, I wish you could change difficulty mid-season, but you cannot. So, we're just going to have to deal with me probably winning a lot of games. Not like that's honestly a bad thing. Oh, but yeah, they've shown flashes of potential, but. It's like, this is a good job they're putting up to end the game. But if they could have done this all game, who knows what could have happened. Throw the ball away because nothing was open. 21 seconds left. Now, the offense has not scored. Austin Hooper, who had one bad drop, has been a great sense. Okay, now I'm, I'm manned up against him. This looks like some kind of drag concept. Wow. Derek Henley with the receiving touchdown. You don't see that very really often. But... 14 points, that's more than the Rams put up, and are they just going, I mean, why really, uh, really bother with the onside kick? When they're down 21 points, and now, let's try this option again, because there's a guaranteed win this time, and it doesn't seem like a good play though. So I caught again. Boop. Okay, this time it kind of worked out for me. But that's it. That's the ball game. We probably hit, we had 200 rushing yards easy, right? 212, yeah. That was that was nice. Let's see what it says about the blocked punt. Oh, so uh, what was that? Probably the second quarter. 95 yard run. It just caught a fumble. Okay. But that blocked punt was nasty. So, um, let's do a pool for recovery. Okay, I guess we just spent a lot of money, but we got plus two acceleration and man coverage. And we got a new kick returner. We keep on getting people that don't help the team at all. He, there's no point in playing him, but... That's it, but we got a division rival, Miami Dolphins. Next. 
Oh, what's this? Trade all for. That's interesting. We'll take a look at that next episode, but this is Corner Blitz signing out. Peace.